Hey, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We have been doing keto now for uh, going on about a month or so. We're about 10 pounds down, and it's been a struggle because sometimes I got people around with like, you know, cookies and, and cakes and all that kind of stuff, and then I'm on the road and things, so we're doing the best we can to stay on here. We're about 10 pounds down, and hopefully I've been getting some good keto recipes to you guys. Uh, today, it's actually kind of hot outside. Uh, it's about 95 degrees, but I'm going to do some grilling, doing something really kind of easy. Now, I am famous, if you've seen Joe Boo Wings, where we do our deep fried wings and we end up using the hot sauce with the butter to go on top of them, they would be perfectly ketoed if they weren't deep fried. So I'm going to do today, I'm going to do some regular wings and I'm going to do some jerk wings. And it's actually pretty simple because I've got my grill on outside getting really hot and we're gonna go ahead and uh, oil the grill so it's not sticky and things. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna season our wings. I end up using this Walker Wood traditional jerk seasoning. This is already wet, and if you go by it, it's got like one, uh, sorry, two carbs per serving, okay? Um, and it's got one gram of sugar, and it's got one gram of fiber on it. So this is not bad as far as doing what you need to for keto. And this is just a matter of covering the wings real good with this stuff because this is going to get black in here now this comes in mild and it comes in um, hot the mild mind you is pretty spicy as it is now I can't find any more of my rubber gloves because normally I would be doing this all with my hand and really get into it but it is what it is now the other wings the regular wings we're just going to cook those and then we're going to end up taking our wing sauce and you're just going to dip them into that and that will be all you need to do for those which is really really simple now typically like I said I usually have my hot sauce my regular hot sauce that's made for the wings and a stick of butter and you melt that now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because somebody gave me some wing master sauce now it does have sugar in it uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt some butter to go in and I'm gonna cut it so that way it won't be so bad. And I'm gonna eat the jerk ones because I actually like the jerk ones better than the regular hot ones. But you can see, I've got my wings covered real good right now with that. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be nice and spicy right there. Yes. Make sure they're all covered. Like I said, this is a lot easier actually if you're doing it with your hand and a rubber glove, but we wanna make sure we don't get anything uh, chicken, of course, on our hands. The other wings, going to be really simple we're just going to take a little bit of olive oil and put on the wings so that way it'll help them from sticking and it'll also help them to actually believe it or not crisp up just a little bit when they hit that heat and we're just going to cook them thorough and like I said this is actually really really simple because you're going to cook the wings and then the sauce will be the seasoning for it that will go on top of it now the other thing I'm going to do is I think I've done my green sauce before for you guys. Um, that's really good. The green sauce will go great with the uh, jerk wings. And maybe we'll make some blue cheese dressing to go with the regular ones. And we'll get some celery and we'll get some carrots to go with it. And then that way, that's, that's what we'll have for dinner today. So let's go out to the grill and get this thing started. Okay, so we've got our grill is good and hot here. It is really hot out here. And we've got it nice and clean, and we've uh, put a little bit of our um, grapeseed oil on it. Grapeseed oil is great to use to cure your grill and your griddle because it takes that high heat, and it's really good. So we're just going to get our wings on here. Whew. I ain't kidding out here. It is hot. I must be crazy to be out in 95 degree temperatures cooking wings for everybody. But that's what we do. And we're gonna just go ahead and go. There we 
go. Get them spread out real good so that way that heat can go around them real nice. Okay. Now this is really hot so I can turn this down because the griddle will hold that heat. And I'm going to go in, get my containers here cleaned up, and um, we're going to get ready to do the sauce. Alright, we're turning over the wings, and I'm finding out, I haven't been here, kids don't go shopping like I do. And so I am missing sour cream, so I can't do my uh, blue cheese dressing, and I might have to do some substitutes on making my green sauce. But you can see, see how the chicken wings here are, are, are browning and getting that little bit of a crust on here? These are going to be good. But it's okay, we're gonna make do because not always, th that's the nice thing about cooking is, you can be inventive and try different things. And you might find out, hmm, this actually tastes better with the things that I'm doing. So you can see, that's definitely coming along really good. We see how nice and dark. Oh, look at it. It's getting the nice crust on it for the jerk wings. And we're making a nice spicy green sauce to go on these. Oh, that's going to be good. Okay. And you can see how nice that looks. We're going to let this cook some more. Come on inside so we can go ahead and get that green sauce done on here. And the wing sauce. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a stick of butter. Because butter, of course, has got lots of nice fat and stuff on it. I know it's not ghee, but understand this is um, broke-ass um, keto cooking. Now, don't make the mistake that I did one time, which was turn on the butter and go outside and forget about it. I almost burned down the kitchen. I almost did that. All right, so we're going to melt that. Now, typically, I would end up using, I can't remember the name of my wing, the hot sauce. I know it when I see it. But I'm going to use this wing master right here, this wing sauce, but I'm going to cut it with the butter because it does have uh, some sugar into it. I just want to reduce that a bit if we can. Now, here's what we're going to do have a little bit of a problem because I don't have sour cream so I'm going to use a little bit of yogurt instead um, we're gonna take I got about four cloves of garlic here I've got a jalapeno pepper I took the seeds out of that we're gonna take a good spoonful of the yogurt put in there a little bit more we're gonna put some mayo now, normally I wouldn't be using the uh, yogurt. It's just I don't have any sour cream. And the other thing is, is I always end up putting in too much stuff in here. But it is what it is. We're going to stuff that stuff in there. So we have our cilantro. I have some green onions I'm going to put in here. Let's see if we can stuff it all in there this time. And we have a lime. Definitely want the lime juice in there. Lime juice is going to make it really, really good. Hopefully, oh yeah, we got a nice juicy lime. This is great for salad dressing. Uh, this is great for the wings. This is great if you're doing grilled chicken. This is great for everything. Now, I don't know how the regular chicken wings will be with that. Um, because you, typically you want to have like a blue cheese or a ranch. But unfortunately, like I said, I don't have, put some salt in. And what we're gonna do, because this is quite full already, is we're gonna start this first, and we'll come back and put the rest of the seasoning in. juice in there. 
you got all the green stuff at the top. So the onions and things in there are not allowing it to go, but we'll put a little bit more mayonnaise in there. And then we'll spin it and see if we got enough liquid to get it all together. See how it's all at the top. I did it kind of bass backwards. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Put the rest of the spices in it, which will help make it really, really green. Get a little taste. Oh yeah. Oh. That's gonna be so good on the jerk wings. Now, if you like it spicier, add another jalapeno to it. sauce this is incredible look at that I'm gonna just mm. great taste to it unbelievable okay and our butter is just about melted and typically all you gotta do is add the wing sauce to it it's that easy and once the wings are done we got our butter melted. You're just going to take the wings, you're going to put them in a bowl, and you're going to flip it. And that's all you're going to do to get your great, great wing sauce on them. So let's go check the wings. And we'll stir this up. Yeah, I might add a little more hot sauce to it though. Now let's go check the wing. Are you ready to check them? Oh, look at that. Look at those wings. Oh, look at that. Bam! Yeah, that's going to be good. Put that wing sauce on them. Now they're not quite done. These, some of these are really, really big and you got to make sure they are cooked. You can check with the thermometer to make sure. Now when I deep fry them, of course, it's a lot quicker process than doing it like this. But these little guys over here, these jerk ones, those are probably just about ready. In fact, let's take, I'm going to pull one off to the side here. We'll take a look at it and see. See, look at that. Oh, look at that jerk wing right there. I'm going to set that there and let it cool a little bit. I don't want to burn myself. But we're just going to turn these over a bit more. But see, this is the nice thing about doing the jerk wings. That skin will brown and get not crisp. Well, it'll get a little bit crispier. You know, you look at a wing like this. Look at that. And then you get that hot sauce on top of it. It is really, really good. Now you can't get them quite this good in the oven, if you ask me. I've done them on a cookie sheet, but the problem with it being on a cookie sheet is the juices, kind of, they kind of lay in the juices instead of those juices dripping off. And so they stay kind of soggy. Now let's check out, let's check out one of these wings. Now look at that. See that crust on there? Look at that. Mm. Oh man, look at that. Woo! You can see the heat coming off of it. Taste wise, the lick. 
hurting my fingers though. Woo! That's good to eat. So, the little ones, both, those are done. Woo! The bigger ones we'll leave on for a little bit longer. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna, hopefully this one's gonna be cool enough for me to finish. Mmm, so lush. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good eating right there. Can't wait to get in here. Put those with some green sauce on them man that's gonna be good and then <clears throat> just getting some of these right here i'm kind of bummed that i don't have the sour cream but going back and forth from the red brick house to here i haven't been grocery shopping like i usually do and the kids definitely don't do that much shopping either Whew. It is hot out here. Now, I'm gonna let these cook a little longer, but we can go inside and we can check out these to start with. Come on, let's go. So take a look at the look at those. Those jerk wings right there. Oh my goodness, those look good. Okay, so we got our jerk wings are done. Now, got ourselves a nice big bowl. We're gonna drop our wings right in there. We're gonna take our wing sauce. And then we're gonna flip it up. Bam, and there you have it. Nice wings right there. And now I just need to get my taste department here. Taste tester. Hey. You. Let's see what she thinks of the wings here. Now she's not much for jerk wings, so I only put a couple of those on there for her but I am gonna put some of the green sauce with it. And she's more of a drumlet kind of girl. So we just get enough for her to get started with. And we'll put a little bit of green sauce. Look at this. Boom, go with it. Taste tester. There you go. Let's see what she thinks. Ooh, I wish I could take a picture of that. That wing looks so good. Mm -hmm. hmm? What is this? This is different. It's wing sauce. I didn't have my regular hot sauce and stuff for it. Mm -hmm. So it's butter, of course, with the wing sauce. It's a commercially bought one. But try the jerk wing with the uh, green sauce. Mm -hmm. See if she likes that. Hmm? Yes, they are very hot. Love that green sauce. The green sauce with that is perfect. I was going to make blue cheese, but we didn't have any sour cream. So, if you want to know what it looks like, though, 
Let me show you one of these wings. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. Look at how it's glazed. Mm. And by cooking it on the grill, it actually toughens the skin up so it doesn't have that rubbery feel to it. You can see, cooked perfectly on the inside. Mm. I don't want to suck on this wing in front of you guys, but damn, that's good. I'm Mark Holmes, and it's definitely finger licking good. And I'll see you soon. Peace.